actually. Let's yeah. see here. So um, I've, I've got a fun story while you find it. Please, go ahead. So we were doing the rank missions. Uh, like literally my family, my my two best friends and my and Tyler, mm -hmm. we were doing the, the whole, we're just trying to get us all the way to rank 10 in, in one night. It's like 2 a.m., dude. We're on one of the, like 9-1, we're on this like skeleton boss or something. Yeah. And, uh, and literally we wipe because Tyler, so Tyler's our white mage. He gets hit mid cast. I'm the tank. Yeah. He was waiting to heal me. Cause I was a ninja. So like I had like two shadows left, mm -hmm. um, but I was at half health already. And, uh, I lose hate. It goes as he's casting cure. It goes to him, hits him, interrupts him. Okay. Yeah. And, and then continues to wipe the entire party because of that one interrupt. Um, and I literally, I look like, I look at him. I'm next to him. Right. <laughs> yeah. Like, like imagine you and I are sitting next to each other. Yeah. I literally just look at him. And I'm just like, I'm like, dude, did you have Aqua Veil up? Which, <laughs> which only stops a spell interruption by 10%. Yeah. But I will still text him to this day and I'll be like, Aqua Veil, bro. Yeah. <laughs> and, and he'll just, he'll rage. <laughs> and that ruined the whole night. We were done. After that wipe, we were just all done. But like, okay, so that's such a great story because like I see Little Moxie in chat saying like Ninja Tank. And here's the coolest thing about it. That was the beauty of the sub job system. They didn't even design Ninja to be a tank and the community made it a tank. You know, it's like, that's how it happened. Like, and so then they eventually went down that direction because you could put those shadows made you unhittable. You, right. you sub warrior, you get provoke, you're dual wielding and you're, it's just, that's how, how it is. And it's like, yeah. that's what the community did and that's how it became. And that's where, so that's why, uh, yeah, we're, I, when you went S, I was like, I think that's low. <laughs> For, that makes me that makes me so happy. Dude, 11 is so good. Uh, and then they're also remastering it. They've got some special announcement for the 20th anniversary. So 2022, something's happening. We don't know what. They're, so you don't think it's just a mobile game? You think they're if it, if they go just mobile, it means they're completely disconnected from reality. Genshin Impact is not just mobile, right? Like the, Fortnite, Fortnite changed the industry when they say a game could be more than just on one platform and you can play wherever and it gives you the option. So what we were talking about before you came on to the podcast, I, I actually prioritize games where I have that flexibility to play anywhere. Whether I, if I, if I have time and I can sit down on my PC or on a console, great. If I've got 10 minutes, I can pop in and do something. And then, so I prioritize games that allow me to have that pop in time as a dad, as somebody with kids, like I'm not guaranteed I'm going to get an hour I can, I can guaranteed I can take 15 minutes, you know, it's right. like not a, not a right. problem. So I, I'm with you, dude. All right. So board is mine. Yes, I, I just, I definitely agree. I, I'm thinking we're looking pretty strong here. We might move four into an S unless we have to do some, some horse trading. 